we're inside of an attic here doing a one year warranty inspection and just wanted to point out a few things that I find on a very large percentage of homes here uh, and that is poor air sealing show you a couple examples here this will be a huge energy loss area so some of the areas here at the back of the wall you can see a pretty terrible approach here of adding expanding foam looks like they were probably running at the uh, end of the can here and just gave up and didn't bother to refill and finish sealing here uh, but with this we can see right into the wall cavity so all this attic air that's either really cold in the winter really hot in the summer is going to pass right through into the wall cavity there a little bit smaller detail where this floor section of the attic connects with the wall no air sealing here so we have an area here that will allow again this unfiltered attic air to pass right through and either heat up or cool down that entire floor cavity uh, biggest energy suck and this is found on a lot of older homes up until the 2000s era when they started mandating draft stopping air sealing uh, but this is a new house so they should definitely have it you can see where the pipes pass through the floor here and originally I found I was doing a thermal imaging scan with this inspection and found the wall very hot down here it's summertime when this is recorded and I came up here and this is about what I saw when I came up here there was little bit of insulation kind of loosely placed around here at this chase and when you move that you reveal the entire chase here completely empty no insulation so we're seeing the first floor interior walls here I believe that's a laundry room floor, uh, wall there and then the back side of a bathroom wall there so where we can see this drywall that is uninsulated so all this attic air is passing right into there further if we go to this side of the wall here we see this is wide open I'm gonna drop the camera down here hopefully we'll get a good view so there we can see that basically that entire joist cavity there which is a ceiling for the first floor finished rooms below is completely uninsulated all the air from the attic is going to pass right through here and fill that cavity leading to significant energy loss so that little bit of insulation that was sitting there like this does nothing to stop the actual airflow air flows right through there we need solid blocking here you can use sheet metal plywood uh, hardboard uh, kind of a thick cardboard material like this sheathing panel here any one of those works fine cut it around the pipes to fit properly and then fill that with that expanding foam and then that will stop that air transfer there only then can we start putting the insulation on top of that once we have this sealed off to maintain our intended R value and efficiency of the attic and again this is a very high percentage of houses uh, this is something that goes right over the head of most installers a lot of inspectors doing the permitting process in the triangle area somehow miss this on a regular basis uh, so that's why it's important to hire your own private inspector that actually crawls into the attic spaces and looks at these things uh, and getting that thermal imaging scan certainly doesn't hurt uh, definitely can highlight areas like this and show the real world implication uh, for the builder to address